I should sit up. No, up to you. Just feel comfortable. That's good. That works. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 My name's Michael Brown, and I'm a mural artist and an artist in general. I've been an artist all my life. Uh, I live in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, with my family. I'm best known in, in public for uh, mural painting, and obviously uh, the, those large paintings inside and outside of buildings, mostly outside, uh, get an audience sometimes of hundreds of thousands of people a day. And if they stop and look into it, they see my name signed on it uh, sometimes. And uh, so I'm best known for that and I make a living at that. Uh, I, I do them in many styles and, and the camera may show that in the course of, of the um, interview and, and what we do. And, and I try to choose different subject matters and uh, color schemes and palettes and different styles of brushwork. And the reason for that is each location is different. Sometimes I'm working with groups of school kids or volunteers and they need a lot of structure so you uh, design the image and the style to, to match their abilities. I played ball here and we won the state championship and I got a trip to New York to get awarded All-American status. Years later I returned and painted this tiger for them. And so now this is uh, my contribution to my alma mater and some kids graffitied it a little bit but the janitor fixed it and he did a great job you can hardly tell where the graffiti was so more power to you janitor good job <laughs> Uh, but mostly when I first started out, I was very local and just doing Orange County and, and Piedmont, North Carolina, but especially mostly just doing Chapel Hill. And I didn't want people to get bored with me or think, oh, we got to get somebody else. We already have one of his. So every time I was asked to do a project, I would change styles uh, on purpose so that uh, uh, I would be able to continue. And... For many years, people didn't realize uh, when I would do one or two murals a year in, in uh, the Chapel Hill and Durham, they didn't realize it was uh, the same person doing them all. They thought it was uh, different people doing them. And that suited me just fine. Uh, as far as not uh, saturating the market, on the other hand, it was a drawback because I needed to work. And if they didn't know it was me, um, that uh, that meant less, fewer phone calls. I'm uh, in many senses not part of the art world and the art world is, is really uh, balkanized. It's really uh, fractured uh, in so many ways. And art is a funny three letter word. word. It's a lot like uh, the, the word God. What is God? What is love? We have these highly not debatable, but explorable uh, concepts that have an, a great deal of utility, seemingly, to human beings, but no real uh, possible, no possibility of a concrete definition. So when you ask questions like, uh, what is the art world? You might as well ask, and it's so balkanized, or what is the use of art, or why do you do it? Those Those are more mysteries than they are answerable questions. Have I gained wisdom? Uh, you mean like the old book, do what you love and the money will follow? Well, it won't unless you're damn lucky, <laughs> but it might happen. Uh, so there's philosophy for you. Um, you know, I try to get up and do some work almost every day. And, uh, you know, it's funny because I, I am lucky to make a living at it and have done it for all these many years. Uh, but uh, I, I, I really don't uh, have any uh, advice uh, uh, for anybody. I feel like Scrooge dancing around at the end of it of uh, of. Uh, uh, a Christmas Carol, you know, and he's he's had a revelation, and then he's I don't know anything. I don't know anything. 
I, I know what has worked for me. I know how to paint murals. I know what gives me peace of mind and pleasure, but that's for me. I suppose I have a highly, possibly a highly uh, developed uh, sense of intuition or intuitive sense that helps with things. Uh, I don't know how to develop it. I can't tell anyone else how to develop that. Uh, uh, the longer I work, the less I know. Whatever I'm working on now is my favorite thing, uh, the one I'm most involved in. There are, it's like uh, mm, baseball. You know in baseball when you go up to swing the bat and try to get a hit that even if you're doing great, you're only going to hit the ball three times out of the ten times you go up to, 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 to the plate. And that's true with the artwork. You know, you know you're going to get some marks on the canvas. And I know in my case it's going to be okay and usually pretty well accepted. Uh, but as far as getting that feeling that you hit a home run, it just doesn't happen for anybody very often. Uh, so no, I, 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 uh, yes and no. There's a, an emotional involvement. And those ten, those ones that really seem to hit the mark, uh, sometimes they never leave the house because I love them too much.